evaluating this series of expressions is really as much an order of operations practice as it is uh, using our exponent rules. So what we need to do is just remember to deal with the exponents first before we move on, then multiplication and division before we move on, and then subtraction or addition. So our first example here we have three times, so the multiplication is going to have to wait because we have 5 to the second power, and then subtract 10 times 5 and add 1 after we're done. So the very first thing we'll do is this 5 squared. That'll give us 5 to the second power is 25. So we have 3 times 25 minus 10 times 5 plus 1. So now we can go across and do all the multiplication. We have 3 times 25 is 75 minus 10 times 5, which is 50 plus 1. 75 minus 50 is 25 and 25 plus 1 is 26. For our second example, we have powers on the top and powers on the bottom, so we'll deal with them first. So we have 2 times 4 squared, that's 16, minus 3 times 5 squared, that's 25, over 3 squared, which is 9, minus 2 squared, which is 4. Now we have some multiplication on top, so we have 2 times 16 gives us 32 minus 3 times 25, that's 75, over 9 minus 4, which is 5, and 32 minus 75 is negative 43 over 5, so we have negative 43 fifths. And then our last example, we have 3 cubed over 2 cubed, both raised to the power of negative 2, which means we're going to take this to the power of negative 2 and this to the power of negative 2. And to raise them to the power of negative 2, we need to invert them and then square them. So actually, we'll flip over this whole thing, and we'll get 2 squared squared over 3 cubed squared, and now we have our powers positive, times 3 fourths, now we'll raise our powers, so we have 2, 2 times 2 is 4, so 2 to the 4th power over 3, 3 times 2 is 6, so 3 to the 6th power, and I'm going to write this other one as 3 to the 1st over 2 squared, so that we can cancel our powers here. 4 minus 2 would be 2, so this gives us 2 squared on top, and 1 minus 6 would be negative 5. So we'll have 2 squared times 3 to the negative fifth. 2 squared is 4. So 4 times 3 to the negative fifth. And I'm going to leave it there because I don't want to do 3 to the fifth in my head. And we can either leave our answer as 3 to the fifth uh, on top with a negative power, or we can put it underneath and we could write it as 4 over 3 to the positive fifth. Either way is fine.